Good morning. Um, Leonard and I have matching outfits so that we could be in sync. So two remarkable presentations, really incredible presentations, and um, I want both of those. I, I need the taps for, for my schools, and I, I need the water collection system for my hospital in Ethiopia. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit today about design for life, because um, we, as humans, um, are the most resilient species on the planet. I think um, if you look at evolution, we have gone from um, something quite incredible. Um, we survived the dinosaurs, we've uh, evolved, and now look where we live. We live in these grand metropolises. And we as designers are creating objects that improve our lives. But sometimes we have to realize that is our role as a designer to make something that's prettier, right? A good, a good example, right? Somehow a designer said, you know what? We need to have a nice, something nice to make your suit look good, but also you might lose your phone, so we need to have something that turns into a cell phone charger, right, and, 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 and holds your phone. But this is, this is design, but is it designing for life? Hi, I'm Cameron. Um, Rebuild is an incredible project, not just because it was focused on the needs of refugees, but it was this international collaboration. It was an idea that, do you all have to be in the same studio, or are we so networked, can we work all over the world collaboratively? And so our team is from the US, from Italy, from Iran, from Jordan, from Syria, and South Africa. Uh, three continents coming together for one common bond. Often when you work in a refugee situation, people tell you, should we design a, a better tent? These tents in these camps are terrible, we should design a better tent. But in order to be a real designer, you have to think about the question. Maybe the question isn't, should we design a better tent? It's, should there be refugee camps? Rebuild这个概念 这是一方面是设计，但是同时我们是不是有能够帮生命设计，帮人的生命做设计？在在这个rebuild计划呢，它一方面它是针对了难民的需求做设计，另外一方面它们也思考的是，我们刚才看到这么多的国家有伊朗
。现在还有很多的城市，尤其是工业化城市里面，他们的城市正在缩小跟凋敝当中。平均而言，每一个月都会有一百座中国的村庄因此废弃或者是消失。Shared cities. Something that's happening is the sharing economy. People are realizing that our strength as a human、uh, as a human race is not on how much money we make, but how do we work collaboratively、uh, as a way to create better lives, not uh, uh, a more dis disperse uh, economic one. 或者是分享城市，我们都知道，现在人类越在分享经济里面越来越多。与其说我们赚的钱有多少，不如说我们懂得分享，彼此分工合作，会能够产生多少的效益。Instant cities. In China,、uh, 100 million people are migrant workers. They work from city to city, and they bring their kids with them. In China, there are actually more than, especially in China, there are more than 1 billion people who are migrants. They work from city to city, and they bring their kids with them. In China, there are actually more than, especially in China, there are more than 1 billion people who are migrants. They work from city to city, and they bring their kids with them. In China, there are actually more than, especially in China, there are more than 1 billion people who are migrants. They work from city to city, and they bring their kids with them. 我们接下来要介绍的是难民营。那各位有露营过吗？有露营过的请举手。There's trees, people are happy. That's camping. 所以露营可能看起来很舒很舒服很愉快。This is not a camp. 但这个不是露营。These people are not camping. 这些人并不是因为想享受野外生活才露营的。This is a city, and this is the city that we work in, Zatari, the largest refugee camp in the world. So this is Zazuri, is the world's biggest refugee camp. It's a city of people, and when you get closer, you begin to realize that these dots are lives. This is people, people, people that make up a city. Right now, there are 60 million people on the planet who are displaced. They're either refugees or they're forced from their homes. Now, the world has more than 6,000 million people who are forced from their homes. If we counted them as a nation, they would be the 24th largest country in the world. 以六千万人而言，是全球第二十四大国家。But they don't have a home. 但是他们都没有住家。On top of that, 171 million people are suffering and are affected because of civil conflict. 另外一方面，还有一点七亿人，他们是因为天灾人祸的关系，因为人祸战争而流离失所。And as some of these mega cities are becoming the epicenters of wealth. Poverty is becoming uh, uh, pushed together. Right now, 50% of the world's poor live in conflict-affected or fragile states. 另外一方面，除了在巨大城市会创造很多经济机会之外，这些贫穷的人口大概百分之五十都居住在这些冲突频人的地区。So in ten years, it's going to be 80%. 到了未来十年之后，全球八十的百分之八十的平民都会在这些地方。Going back to that number before. We talked about the number of displaced people right now is 60 million. When we hit our tipping point in 2044, it will be 323 million. 刚才提到，现在全球居住地所的人民大概有六千万人，但是如果以二零四四年全球八十七亿人口来计算的话，将会达到超过三亿人。So we're going to focus on what's happening in Syria, but Syria is not an exception. It's an example of what's going to happen globally. 接下来要介绍的是叙利亚的案例，但叙利亚并不是个案或是特例，它是在各地都在发生的情况。For the last five years, five million children have not had a home. 过去五年之间，五百万名儿童都失去了家园。They have been what we call camping. They've been living in refugee camps. 他们都住在难民营当中。So you can think about despair. You can think about, you know, that nothing can be done. But for me. When design is at its greatest, is when in the toughest situation you create beauty. 我觉得设计之所以美丽的地方，是因为它在最困难的地方，在最艰困的环境里面创造出美丽。The two projects before are perfect examples of this. 刚才前面两个简报都非常清楚地证明这一点。They don't talk about poverty; they talk about solutions. 所以重重点不是贫困，重点是解决方案。This brings us to rebuild. Rebuild is a challenge. Not only how do we house people after war and natural disaster, but how do we get them home? How do we figure a dignified way of people to come back home? In this plan, we hope to have experienced natural disasters and help people find a home, build a home, and let them have a dignified way of building their own home. How can we do it with people with no construction skills, rapidly with local materials? 如何在快速的情况之下，在没有建筑背景跟技术的时候，能够在本地的材料去进建家园 ？And instead of rows of tents, 
Let's create neighborhoods. 与其去做难民营，不如建造社区。So we could build a basic home, can be built by two people in two days for less than three thousand dollars. 所以这个案例里面，只要两个人在两天时间以内就可以用三千元、三千美元的经费就可以打造家园。We actually hired Syrian refugees, paid them to help build the, the schools that we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in Zaatari. We paid the Syrian refugees to help build the schools we've done in And then a quarter.、Um, so you have thirty families make a small village. So thirty 户共构成一个社区 And then、um, you add in、uh, a community facility, either a school, a clinic,、um, or a gathering space. 在这样的情况下，好几个社区共构之后，就可以有学校、呃呃诊所，还有社区中心。So we did a test. We test. We, you know, we don't like to work in a refugee camp、um, and test products.、Um, there is no reason that you should be using people as guinea pigs. But what we used something called the Milan Expo. In 2015, we built a small version of one of the homes, very rapidly,、uh, by our team from Pilosio.、Uh, Luca, co-founder, is here with me. 在这种情况之下，我们当然不想要把难民当做白老鼠做试验品，所以我们在他当地先做了一个像样品屋一样，在两天之内就做了一个样品屋之后，跟跟 Plus 有一起合作，一起做出这个样品屋。This was the cheapest and most cost-effective pavilion of the expo. 这个是大概全世界在在展会当中最成本最低最划算的展位。Currently, one million children, Syrian children, do not have access to schools. When the UN does build a school, this is it. It's a tent. In the UN, when the UN builds a school, this is it. It's a tent. Good design isn't expensive, so we set ourselves a challenge. Could we build a classroom for the same amount as a UN tent that would be permanent, built by the mothers and fathers of the children, and become a safe space for many years? 在这种情况下，我们给自己的挑战是我们能不能用同样的经费做出一个永久式的学校，而且新建的呃这些施工的工人都是这些难民的呃父母他们自己。And at the end of the war, that structure can be redeployed back into Syria so that the children can have a school back in Syria and that they can move together as a school. 也希望在未来战争战火结结束之后，这个学校可以原封不动的直接搬迁回到他们的家园之后，让整个社区跟着这个学校一起移动。So we may not have got approval for building the school. 也许我们现在还没有获得建建建建筑许可。And sometimes you have to be naughty. 但有时候就必须要绕道而行，找些小的方式去切入。And it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. And we knew that we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could build a school in ten days. So we could The UN showed up two weeks later. 后来联合国两个礼拜之后抵达现场。But we already built the school. 但我们已经新建完成了。And we didn't see these people as refugees. We saw them as builders, as fathers, as leaders, as friends, as dreamers, and architects. 我们并不认为他们是呃难民，我们认为他们是父亲，是工人，是梦想家，是建筑师，是领导领袖等等，他们是各种不同的角色组合在一起。So there's a lot of talk about sustainability, certification process, what materials you use, but for me, the most sustainable building is one that's loved. If there is nobody in your building, it's not architecture, it's sculpture. If it's full of life, if it's full of laughter, it's sustainable. 
，很多人今天又谈到永续，但是我觉得永续的问题并不只是在于它的材料、它的工法、它的建建建,建筑物的本身而已。重点是这个建筑物有没有受到大家的喜爱，有没有人使用它，否则的话就是打造出一一座或者一栋雕塑，或者一座废墟。So this is the school today. 这是学校现况。Adapted by the refugees. 由难民自己改造。At the cost of a UN ten. 然后这是完全用呃联合国的帐篷成本来新建。How we judge the school happiness？ 我们要如何判断学校里的小朋友快不快乐、幸不幸福呢 ？People don't become extremists. They don't turn to terrorism because it's a choice. They turn because they have to. Because they don't have anything to live for. 人们之所以变得激进或者转向恐怖主义，并不是因为他们自己选择，常常是不得不的情况造成的结果。And when you're born in a refugee camp and you know nothing but poverty and strife, it's very easy to fall susceptible to those who have extreme views. 如果在呃难民出生的时候，你很容易就会被被迫或接受这样的极端主义思想。However, if you build a place that Feels like a home, a home that will be with you as you as you get older and as you graduate. It's the idea that architecture can be a vessel of peace instead of created. 在这种情况之下，如果你能够建构家园，让他们有归属感，让他们认为这是一个家的话，这种时候我们的建筑物就并不只是创意而已，也并不只是一个是是呃是硬体而已，它更是一个能够促进和平的方式。We started building in April last year. Now we have four schools. We in April started building. Now we have four schools. But every person that we've trained to build a school can use the same materials and build that school again and again. Every person who participated can use the same materials and build that school again and again. Every person who participated can use the same materials and build that school again and again. Every person who participated can use the same materials and build that school again and again. Every person who participated can use the same materials and build We're adapting the design so it uses wind and solar. 也不断调整各因因地制宜，比如说运用风力跟太阳能。And looking to do hospitals and as well as small businesses. 未来也希望能够运用在医院或者是公司当中。We've been asked to work in Somalia, so our South African team is working on a village in Somalia. 现在我们的团队也在索马利亚工作。Are we working in Lebanon? 黎巴嫩。We're working in Europe, and I'm going to end just by noting there's a new way of designing for this kind of growing, shifting world that we now live in. It's that we plan for these nomadic communities, we design for the impermanence, we encourage local localization, and we build for adaptation. 在这种情况之下，我们最后要跟各位强调的是，我们在未来规划的时候要针对这些游牧的族群规划；我们设计的时候要针对这些永久的方案设计。同时，我们要鼓励在地化。另外，我们的建筑物还有设计必须要有弹性。And then you or I, if we help a hundred people in our lives, we've done an incredible service to humanity. But there's no way that you or I can help the entire world. So let's figure out how we share our design solutions so that we do help the world collectively. 一方面，每一个人如果一生中能够帮助一百个人的话，其实做了很好的事情。但是我们没有办法帮一个人，没有办法帮助所有人。所以我们建议大家透过彼此合作的方式，用分享的方式，同时帮助更多的人。Because a third of a billion people are going to be on the move, and they're going to need designers. 因为换言之，这些这些好几千万、好几百万人口，未来都会不断的流呃，不断的在流呃迁移当中。And for us, if you think about the materials we use to build those schools, right now they're being used to stop refugees going from one country to the next. I would rather tear down the walls and build more schools. Now, their houses, uh, these schools that they use, actually, are all from many countries. They are trying to group or to group these refugees who use these schools. So, I think rather than building these group or group schools, we should build them here to build schools. So, thank you, and help us build. 谢谢各位。